when I was in my mid-teens, I first heard the organ toccata by Vidor, the famous toccata from the Fifth Organ Symphony. And I can remember thinking to myself, I've got to learn to play that, because I just thought it was the most amazing piece. Up until then, uh, I'd only been a pianist, um, but I decided to teach myself the organ up to a certain point. And then when I went on to university, I had organ lessons proper. But um, I think it's safe to say that Vidor's Toccata was one of the most formative pieces in my youth. It's this piece. Um... <laughs> So this was a piece which really did inspire me and have a marked effect on my own composition. I suppose I always hoped I would write a piece um, in a similar sort of vein. And then in 2007, my father passed away and I decided to write a piece of music in his memory and I was, first of all, thinking along the lines of an elegy or a lament, um, a sad piece. But one day I found myself uh, with a musical idea in my head. This um, great sense of energy and triumph. And my father was a, um, a humorous, strong characterful man um, and I thought to myself no it doesn't need a sad piece it needs a joyful piece and that's how this toccata evolved so it's got this very quick figuration in the manual part the word toccata comes from the Latin toccare to touch and a toccata is a piece with um, quick finger work but it's also often marked by a majestic pedal line. This piece, therefore, consists mainly of those two elements, a quick figuration and a strong pedal line. So we get this. When we decided to put this track um, on my album Song of Songs, uh, I was given the option of playing it, but I just felt I wanted somebody who was a professional organist, which I'm not. I nearly became one, but I can't say I'm a professional organist. And so I asked my friend, the organist of Rochester Cathedral, Roger Sayer, to play it. And it's Roger who plays it on the recording you're about to hear. He's the most wonderful, wonderful player. Um, towards the end of the piece, um, the texture builds and builds and builds to a triumphant chord of C major. I've kind of been implying C major all the way through the piece, but the, the presence of the F sharp has been steering us away. And indeed, in the episodic passages, I go through all sorts of different keys, G flat major, E flat minor, D major, B flat minor, um, but at the end, C major reigns supreme. Um, and um, do listen out too for the, the octaves in the pedals, which I have to admit I can't play. I can't quite do it, but Roger does it brilliantly. So, this is the Takata, which appears on my album, Song of Songs.